I would like to show you a little bit of the work we have done adding uh, event handling to the Lua widgets in Edge TX. Uh, now we have some pull requests waiting to be merged into the main branch that can support both uh, keep uh, inputs from the user and also touchscreen input. Uh, so I'm going to show you two little widgets I have created. The first one is called Event Demo and it's a little widget that I used to test that everything worked in, in the event handling code. And the other widget is a sort of GUI library that can be shared by other widgets. Uh, it's, it declares a global Lua function that can be used to load the library and use it everywhere. So the first event demo, you can drag the little square here around on the screen. It takes tab events like this. It takes swipe events like that. You can see it shoots little lasers when I swipe. Uh, it doesn't respond when I tap elsewhere. You can see up in the uh, left corner it will show the latest events both from key press and also from uh, the swipe events that have been defined. So that's just a quick little uh, widget that is pretty good to see how the whole event handling works in Lua and, uh, and uh, how you can use it in your widgets. Uh, I plan to submit it to be included in the standard SD card uh, content so people can use it for their own uh, stuff. Okay, the other one is the lib GUI and likewise I plan to um, to also include that on the SD card content. But first of all it's got some buttons here, like this button will turn the green border on and the other button will turn it off. And it uses some callback functions in Lua to do that. The other one is the toggle button. Turn stuff on and off. You can see it's yellow when it's on. And then we have one here where we can input a number and use it. We can slide up and down on the screen to adjust it or we can use the, uh, the roller button on the side here. Then we can tap on it when we're done. Uh, we can also, you know, just click enter. We can tap somewhere else when we're done. We've got a timer here. It'll actually set an underlying timer on the radio. Uh, it'll use a callback function to give it a lot of uh, flexibility. So um, there you have it. Uh, events are coming to Lua widgets pretty soon.